Uncle John. Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. For today's proceedings, first we will continue to hear the testimony, the statement of sufferings and hands of uh, Madame Civil Party Jem Conny, and then we have uh, three more civil parties uh, to hear today. And for today's proceedings, and before we hear the remainder of the statement by Jem Conny, the Chamber would like to inform the parties that today, Judge Dutra is absent due to personal commitment, and after, after judges of the bench discussed, we decided to appoint Judge Tumani, a National Reserve Judge, in place of Judge Yutra for today's proceedings, and that is pursuant to Rule 39.4 of the ECCC in the rules. And Ms. Jie Huang, could you report the attendance Madame of the parties Lavier, and the individuals to today's proceedings? Jie Si Huang, Mr. President, for uh, today's La proceedings, Lavier. Monsieur le Président, All parties to this case are present. Toutes les parties As for Nunchi, he is present in the holding cell downstairs as he requests to have his rights to be present in the courtroom. And his waiver has been delivered to the greffe. The civil party who is to continue her La remaining testimony is here, and uh, we have three more civil uh, parties, two TCCP uh, 293, 251, and 984. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ji Huang. Le Président, merci beaucoup, Madame. The chamber now decides on the request by Nunchir. The chamber has received a waiver from Nunchir dated the 3rd April 2015. He confirms that due to his health, that is headache, back pain, and that he cannot sit or concentrate for long. And in order to effectively participate in the future hearings, he requests to waive his right to be to participate in and be present at the 3rd April 2015 hearing. He has been informed by his counsel about the consequence of this waiver that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his right to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC dated 3rd April 2015, who notes that Nguyen Chi has a chronic back pain and dizziness when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 for the ECCC internal rules, the Chamber grants Nunti his request to follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs via an audiovisual means for today's proceedings. The AB unit personnel is instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunti can participate in and follow today's proceedings remotely.
the chamber now gives the floor to the co-prosecutors to put a question to the civil party, Madame Jem Conny, in relation to her sufferings and harms during the period of democratic Kampuchee. National Co-Prosecutor, good morning, Mr. President, Bonjour, good morning, Monsieur everyone Président. in and around the Bonjour, courtroom, and good morning, Madame Jam Conny. My name is Sri Ratana, a National de Je Deputy Co-Prosecutor. From what you stated to this uh, chamber yesterday, you uh, came from the lower part of Cambodia as uh, advised uh, by your mother, and then you were sent to some round cooperative. Can you be more specific as to which lower part of uh, Cambodia you were from and which year that it happened? Civil party. I cannot recall it since I was very young at that time. I did not know how to read or write, and I just came along with my mother and father to pray cab. And we stayed at pray cab for about 10 days with some of our clothing. And then they Avec confiscated uh, the clothes Ensuite, that we had for uh, communal and cooperative uh, use. I asked my elder sibling, and I was told that they just kept it for us and let us go to work. And then, in return, we were given a black uniform, and I asked my elder sibling again about this, and I was told that I had just to put them on. And then a man, Uncle Chon, told me that the Khmerus would only allow us to wear black clothing. And because of the lack of clothing, lies. We were infested with the lies throughout the body. It was as big as the lies of the dogs. Because we only had a, a pair of her clothing. So we I mean my siblings and I blamed my mother for uh, urging us to come in expectation of abundance of food, and my mother told us that, uh, please, uh, bear with her, it's too late now to go anywhere, and we had just to uh, survive. Prosecutor, thank you. Can you also tell the court whether you volunteered to come to Cambodia? Answer, uh, we were not forced by anyone. We heard that uh, we all should go to uh, the uh, upper part of Cambodia as there was abundance of food. But on the contrary, we were given only a little gruel mixed with a little vegetable or water lily, and it was not uh, enough. Question in the pre the cooperative, were you allowed uh, to stay together or with or mingle with uh, other ensemble? people? Or were you put uh, separately? From the accent uh, you speak, I note that uh, you have uh, an accent of uh, those Khmers living in uh, Kampuchi Crown. So my question to you whether you were separated from the ordinary Khmer people. Answer. Initially, we were allowed to live mingle with the local départ, people, and later on, we were separated, locale, and then we were uh, distributed with uh, us carrying baskets, and we were assigned to carry us to uh, pick cow dung and to cut the country head the tree leaves. Et De couper des feuilles and we des had to uh, grind uh, the leaves and then carry them again to, to the rice field to spread them 
at the rice field. Pour ensuite les épandre dans les rizières. President, uh, Councilor Coupe, you had the floor. Maître Coupé, la parole. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, and Monsieur good morning, le Président. Your honors. Bonjour, um, Madame et Messieurs les Juges. When the National Council uh, noted in his question that the victim, uh, the civil party, has a Macron accent, I looked um, to the back. Uh, of course, I cannot uh, discern that myself. But it seems that the uh, civil party doesn't have such an accent. So, um, just for the record, I object to the um, classification of her accent as a, as a Macron accent. Co-prosecutor, uh, Mr. President, allow me to respond. Le co-procureur national, Monsieur le Président, puis-je répondre? President, uh, please wait. And Councilor Consumon, you had the floor. Consumon, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. I'd like to also provide my observation to the last question by the National uh, Co-prosecutor. I think the question uh, focuses uh, mainly on the facts. And yesterday, Mr. President uh, prohibited hier, me from asking questions uh, on facts. De questions sur les faits. And if that is the case, and if Alors, si the prosecution is allowed faits, to do si so, then the defense team shall be granted uh, the same opportunity. Thank you. Merci. President. Le président. And the lead co-lawyer for civil parties, Co you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, just one simple comment. Aucune uh, des parties civiles none of the civil parties uh, who was heard today uh, and yesterday and came from Kampuchea Krom said that he or she Krome. suffered from the Donc, fact si that he or she came principe, from Kampuchea Krom. So if we base ourselves on the principle that the questions must be tied to the suffering and that the factual questions also have to be tied to the suffering expressed by the civil parties, none of the civil parties saying that he or she was suffering from the fact that he or she came from Kampuchea Krom said that he or she suffered from the fact that he or she came from Saying that he or she came from Cambodia Krom said that he or she suffered from discrimination because he or she came or comes from Cambodia Krom. I just want to say this because we proposed to the civil parties for them to speak about their suffering at Tram Kok, and you have heard their testimony, and none of them said that they suffered from the fact that they are Khmer Krom. President, the Deputy le National Co-Prosecutor, uh, you have the floor. Co-Prosecutor, co I'd like to respond to the observations Merci, made by Councilor Coupe. Par Coupe. And uh, he uh, stated that the accent of the civil party is not that of a Kampuchi crown. In fact, as I stated earlier, based on her uh, statement yesterday Je that she came from Kampuchi Kram and that she was born in Kampuchi Kram. And based on the information and also the accents that I heard, que so uh, I do not rely only on the accent but on the relevant information, accent, and to me it is rather peculiar that the Council Coupe, who is an international council, uh, notice or can discern the accent of the accent of this civil party. And on the questions of effects, Ensuite, pour ce qui est des faits, I think it is uh, up to uh, the bench uh, to, the, uh, to, to rule on it. However, the questions that I uh, put to the civil parties are closely part, related to the suffering she received at the Tram Cooperative.
บ้าให้ President ปัญหาในลึกลังนี้เรื่อง Le Président On the issue of uh, the accent of the civil party, de and we i s presume that uh, she is a uh, Khmer k r a m or not uh, is not appropriate. Le fait de présumer qu'elle est Khmer k r a m ou non n'est pas approprié. We advise that this matter shall not be raised again. Nous vous demanderons donc de ne pas soulever à nouveau cette question. As to the objection. Raised by uh, Ensuite, uh, support de, uh, de National Council, the Chamber would like to uh, remind to the parties that yesterday, la the Chamber asked you questions of uh, relevancy of uh, your questions on the mistreatment of the Chinese. As the chamber is of the view that uh, that Chinois. fact was not a part of the facts or uh, allegations in case zero zero two slash zero two, ne posez des questions que sur les faits du dossier. Il faut que ces questions soient pertinentes dans la procédure en cours. As for other information that the civil party may raise, as long as those, as as long as that information falls within the scopes of the facts, then questions are allowed. However, the chamber keeps keeps reminding all the parties that the questions so tied to. The sufferings at the hands of the civil party, and that you should focus and rely on the documents put forward by the political lawyers for the civil parties, as they are the one to organize the civil parties for their statements of sufferings and harms. And we set that out clearly in uh, our instructions. Nous l'avons dit très clairement lorsque nous avons donné nos instructions. And that you should focus uh, more or fundamentally on the, the statements of our sufferings and harms. And this is a, a, an, ex an, an exceptional proceeding to hear the sufferings and harms of the civil parties. Nous parties civiles parler des souffrances qu'elles ont endurées. Therefore, the objection raised by the National Council for Kyu Sampon is overruled. And the co-prosecutor, you can uh, continue or resume your questioning. Uh, rather, please hold. And I notice An that the counsel Kung Samon is on his feet. Do you have the floor? Kung Samon, thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to seek a clarification on another matter from the bench. Yesterday, the witness Hier, spoke about the separation of the people, including the Chinese, the Vietnamese, and herself, and not only about the Chinese ethnicity. President, the Chinese or the Vietnamese uh, groups are uh, not The main uh, topics or uh, facts of the current trial, and that matter is far from the facts determined for the uh, current segment of the trial. For that reason, the chamber advised you voilà to uh, consider that, and if you have clear compte. ground uh, to uh, submit to the si chamber, we would consider it. But you did not, and you just put questions. In relation to this particular issue, President and the Deputy National Co-Prosecutor, you can resume.
question in relation to the food uh, ration that you stated yesterday that you had a gruel mixed with a water lily and when you were asked you had to say that it was delicious. Can you uh, enlighten the court why you had to do so? Answer. If we were not to say that it was delicious then we would be uh, mistreated and we had to do that and we had just to, to eat the, the, the soup. Otherwise, we would be uh, taken for a refashion. Nobody dared to say that the food was not sufficient. And that also applies to the, the children. If the children, if one of the children said uh, the food was not uh, enough, then that child would be taken for re-education. And then, we had to do so. We had to just say the food was delicious. If we were taken for re-education, then it means that we would be in trouble and in order uh, to survive. We just uh, had to please them and to say that it was delicious. Of course, how could you uh, say such a gruel mixed with water lily or mixed with uh, 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 banana a tree trunk and that is delicious? No, it's not uh, possible. We were not given proper uh, cooked rice. Sometimes we were given gruel mixed with cassava or other vegetable, and that's uh, what happened, and that's the reality. Question: When you said. Uh, the person would be uh, re-educated. Uh, what do you mean by that? Answer. It means we will be taken away to be criticized and that we would be punished by doing extra uh, loads. For example, uh, in a, a daily uh, work plan, we had to carry only 20 baskets, principe, but then we would be given extra loads, 10 or 20 more baskets. And at that time, we, we, we overworked. We were uh, so skinny. Sometimes we, we fell on the ground uh, because of the exhaustion and because of the lack of uh, nutrition in the food. And as for, for us, we looked so bony, we only could see the Nous étions vraiment décharnés. our kneecaps questioned based on your uh, testimony yesterday. You spoke about Question. your mother and Hier, your aunt. De votre mère et de votre tante. And I did not uh, hear you say anything about uh, your father. Je ne vous ai pas parler de votre Can père. you tell the court and clarify this matter, whether your father Pouvez came along with your family, chambre, si votre père or did he die before the regime? Avant du regime? Answer. He passed away Réponse. before that, and my mother was a widow, and when she saw people going to uh, Khmer Lhe, then uh, she asked us to go with her. Co-prosecutor, Mr. Elle President, I don't have any further question. Le President. Merci. Je plus de question. Le President. And the chamber will now hand the floor la to Nguyen Chi's defense to put questions to this civil party. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, good morning, Madam Civil Party. Um, I have only a very few questions, but some questions are for clarification uh, purposes. Uh, if I understood you correctly, you said that you were in, you were living in uh, Kampuchea Krom. Um, around 1975. Um, however, in the documents that we have received, Dans les que nous avons um, reçu, it would seem that you were living with your parents vous in Phnom Penh in April 75, and that you 1975, were evacuated from Phnom Penh to Takeo province. province de Takeo. Um, would you be able to uh, shed some light on this? Faire la sur, uh, cette Réponse. Answer. I did not say that. 
j'ai dit que je venais de Campuchia Krom. Je n'ai jamais habité à Phnom Penh avec mes parents. Je ne savais même pas où se trouvait Phnom Penh. Je ne savais pas où se trouvait Phnom Penh. I only know Phnom Penh maintenant. Enfin, je connais Phnom Penh seulement maintenant. Je ne connaissais même pas Takeo. Did not even know Takeo. Ni Ton Loap. Nor Ton Loap. Je sais où se trouvent ces villes seulement maintenant. I know only now where these places are located. So I never said that. Maître Coppe. Monsieur le Président, le document D22-3204A, dated 22 bar 3204 3204A Supplementary information form Information Formulaire d'information supplémentaire Madame Civil Party in this Form it says the following: um, On 17 April 1975, my father and mother, who were former Lonol soldiers, were forcibly evacuated by Khmer Rouge, Khmer Rouge soldiers from Phnom Penh to Phnom Penh in Takiu Province. And attached to this supplementary information form seems to be an identity card with your name and thumbprint on it. So I'm uh, trying to understand exactly um, where you were and where your parents were in 1975. Answer. My parents were living in Kampuchea Krom. And they died. I told you the truth. My woman was my. My wife was a widow. She asked me to come. I didn't know where Phnom Penh is. So I cannot answer your question. So I don't know what to tell you. I understand, Mr. President. Would I have your leave to show the Khmer version of D22/3204 A and ask the civil party whether that is her identity card and her signature and thumbprint? Perhaps before we do that, I understand you are illiterate, is that correct? You cannot read or write. Civil party, this is a question from me to you. Can you read and write? Answer. No. I am illiterate. I neither know how to read nor how to write. When I was questioned, I was asked if my parents disappeared, and I asked someone, therefore, to write all of this down. Yes, my parents died under the Khmer Rouge regime. Second question, just to be clear, can you write your name or can you not even write your name? 
ne savez-vous pas même meaning sign something a signature êtes vous en mesure de signer quoi que ce soit réponse Answer. non no Maître Copé, à quoi ça sert votre la présentation de documents à une partie civile qui ne sait pas lire C'est une très bonne question. Maître Copé, voilà une excellente question. Madame Civil Party, do you remember? Madame la partie civile. Putting your thumb vous souvenez -vous avoir on a piece of paper and print um, a form which was supplementing your earlier um, information. Do you remember using your thumb and giving your um, ID to et avoir donné votre carte a person? Réponse. Answer. Oui, j'ai apposé yes, mon empreinte digitale sur indeed, ma carte d'identité. Indeed, I put my thumbprint on my uh, identity card. Um, Mr. President, that is a document I believe that Maître we will be Monsieur able to show to the civil party. That is the second page of the 22 slash 3204A. That's. Uh, I'm showing it. That's uh, her ID with indeed a thumbprint um, on the copy of the back side of her ID. So I, I believe that she will be able to, uh, to identify this. Allez-y, le procureur. Oui, yes, uh, international co-prosecutor, vous avez le floor. Merci, monsieur le président. Mr. President, uh, euh, je crois que l'avocat de la défense a I créé plus de confusion qu'il y en avait déjà. Parce qu'en réalité, ce document d'identité n'est pas attaché à D22-3204. Ah, mais au document original, donc à la, à la formulaire de constitution de partie civile D22-3204, donc à un moment différent. Et donc, euh, je, je crois qu'il serait utile peut-être de demander si... Il y a eu deux moments différents qui se sont passés. Donc, le premier document date d'avril 2010. On dit que le formulaire de renseignement complémentaire date de juin 2010 a été fait par l'unité des victimes. On dit que le premier formulaire, je crois, a été rempli avec l'aide d'une ONG. Peut-être qu'en procédant de manière chronologique, ce serait plus simple, parce que là, l'avocat nous dit que la carte d'identité a été jointe au formulaire de renseignement complémentaire, mais ce n'est pas le cas. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, je, je constate que l'audience sur l'impact des crimes est en train de se transformer that, en une audience uh, sur la, la valeur probante des formulaires d'information des victimes uh, et des informations supplémentaires qui ont été déposées par l'unité des victimes uh, avant la clôture de l'instruction. Uh, je suis obligé de reconnaître que c'est so un, un, une réalité. Nous aurons de notre côté à éclaircir side, la façon dont les informations ont été collectées et ce que nous entendons euh, déposer devant la Chambre comme document. Mais je souhaiterais que ce débat ait lieu à un autre moment. Il est en train de, 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 de polluer les, les débats sur l'audience, sur l'impact des crimes. Ce qui compte aujourd'hui, c'est le témoignage oral des partis civils. Euh, donc, je, je m'en rapporte à l'appréciation du tribunal sur ce point. Encore une fois, je concède volontiers à la défense qui nous incombera à un moment à nous co-avocats principaux, de clarifier la situation tant les erreurs ont l'air 
manifeste et répétée tant dans les formulaires d'information des victimes as well as que euh, dans les informations supplémentaires qui ont été euh, déposées. Nous sommes comme les autres parties, We finalement. Nous, nous, sommes, nous, parties, nous découvrons uh, aussi cette, uh, la réalité et um, l'étendue de, de ce problème, mais je souhaiterais que les parties civiles puissent être entendues oralement sur ce qu'elles ont vécu sans que nous passions un temps and, démesuré and, and, sur and ces and questions qui, like certes, sont importantes, mais qui polluent aujourd'hui le débat à l'audience. Apparemment, il y a un problème de traduction, mais je crois comprendre, Monsieur le Président, que vous m'avez donné la parole. Très brièvement, je comprends que l'audience ne se passe pas forcément comme l'aurait souhaité ma consoeur des parties civiles. Le problème, c'est que j'entends bien qu'on veut nous dire qu'il faudrait avoir cette discussion à un autre moment. Mais comment faire pour avoir cette discussion alors que les éléments de contradiction se révèlent à l'audience Nous avons essayé de faire les choses le plus brièvement possible. So je ne vois pas comment on peut faire valoir ces contradictions autrement. Je ne vois pas comment on peut faire valoir ces contradictions autrement que lorsque la partie civile qui uh, est à l'origine de, uh, des déclarations en question uh, est présente uh, dans, dans le box devant la Chambre. Donc, nous essaierons d'être extrêmement uh, succincts sur la question, mais on ne peut pas faire ce débat en dehors de la salle d'audience. C'est bon, maître. Fine, fine, fine. In order to find a practical solution, please proceed. Uh, okay, in order to find a practicable solution, and taking into account what the colleague lawyer has just said about um, apparent deficiencies in the process of civil party recruitment is not the right word, but um, um, handling at an early stage. We would suggest the following. Mr. Cope present the, the copy of the ID to the civil party, so we can establish if this is actually the same person. I guess you don't expect her to identify her tampering. But afterwards, perhaps, 
It would help to not focus too much on the inconsistencies. We are not preventing you from asking questions, but I think you can consider it established that there are problems. Um, and again, we need to we need to organize the remains of this day. So, to clarify the ruling, yes, please show the you're allowed to show the copy in order to establish the identity. And then we would invite you to not perhaps unduly focus on details of these documents. Can I, Mr. President, hand this to Maître Cope, Monsieur le Président, m'autorisez-vous ainsi à remettre Bailiff. Le document au greffe. Vous voulez remettre le document à qui To whom would you like to give the document Alors, il n'y a pas eu de traduction There was no translation no. Councillor, I think the, she's waiting for your question. Um, Madam Civil Party, do you recognize this, do, uh, this paper? Do you see your identification card? Reconnaissez-vous là votre carte d'identité? Answer. Bah, J'ai seulement une carte d'identité. All I have là, je trouve is a ID um, card. Trois ou quatre copies. And I find that there are three or four copies carte there of, and I have only one pas, uh, identity card. Y en a autant ici? I uh, do not know ai seule. why there are so many here. I have only one copy of my identity card. Uh, 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 um, maybe there's a misunderstanding, Madam Civil Party. What, what we are showing to you is a copy of your original card. So the, the question is, is this a what we call photocopy of your original card? Answer. J'ai fait faire euh, une carte d'identité euh, euh, il y a euh, plusieurs mois. Et mois je ne sais pas, on va parler d'une un, carte d'identité dure, euh, mais euh, celle au-dessus avait été uh, faite euh, avant, et puis c'est l'autre. Euh, une autre, ce n'est pas la mienne. Et, une, uh, une autre one, encore, ce n'est pas la mine. mienne. Donc, je pense que celle so qui se I trouve uh, en haut, c'est bien la mienne. The identity card on top of the pile is indeed mine. Um, Madam Civil Party, what you are seeing is uh, the front side, a copy of the front side of your ID and a copy of the back side of your ID. Et du verso de votre carte d'identité. Réponse. Answer. Uh, je, vous, je vous ai dit non, c'est non. Uh, je n'ai uh, no, une I seule carte d'identité. Je n'ai jamais fait de copie. Je n'ai jamais fait de copie de cette identité. Madame Connie. 
Euh, normalement, il y a le euh, recto verso Normally, sur une uh, carte d'identité. Là, on vous a fait une copie recto verso sur la diagonale. La recto, c'est le front page. Il um, y a votre photo. Et you find le verso, your il y a la, the front page, le tampon de la municipalité de Phnom Penh. Donc en fait, il s'agit d'une seule Phnom carte d'identité parce qu'on ne peut pas copier votre carte d'identité euh, avec une, qualité, une bonne qualité parce qu'il faut bien montrer les deux euh, de faces de votre carte. En fait, il s'agit d'une seule We carte d'identité qui est la vôtre. Une copie de la front page et de la back page. Donc, c'est toujours votre carte d'identité, juste la carte d'identité que vous avez. Uh, réponse. Uh, oui, voilà, si vous dites que ma carte a été well, uh, copiée, j'accepte, je, je comprends. Mais si vous dites que ma, ma carte a été falsifiée, copied, non, je ne, pas, je ne peux pas accepter But ça. If you say that my Mais là, j'accepte votre uh, affirmation. But, um, le président, uh, pensez-vous que President? votre copie est une uh, copie... Uh, de votre carte d'identité originale. Do you think uh, this is a copy of your original identity card? Réponse. Please answer the question. On, on m'a dit de uh, refaire une carte. Uh, Donc maintenant j'utilise ma nouvelle carte et avant j'avais copié l'ancienne. Now I am Le président, reconnaissez-vous votre uh, la photo qui figure sur uh, votre carte d'identité President, do you recognize the photograph cette photo on that identity uh, ressemble uh, Does that photograph identi identique à la photo qui figure uh, sur uh, votre ancienne carte d'identité um, Identical copy of the photograph on your former identity card. Let me try that. Okay, look, we need to test some more tests. Maître, euh, vous pouvez poursuivre. Council, Donc, euh, elle, a, elle reconnaît que c'est une, une copie de, de son ancienne carte d'identité. Maintenant, of her um, elle a reçu card. une nouvelle carte euh, d'identité qui est a new une carte identity dure. Card, which is a hard copy. Um, Madame Civil Party, I'm going to try to Maître, ask you a simple question. Je vais essayer de vous poser um, une question simple. Were you and your parents in 1975 in Phnom Penh and then evacuated? Or were you in Kampuchea Krom and subsequently evacuated? Je répète toujours la même chose. Je n'ai jamais été à Phnom Penh. Je viens de connaître Phnom Penh. Je ne sais pas comment vous répondre à votre question. Je ne savais même pas à quoi ressemblait Phnom Penh. Je vous ai dit que je ne connaissais pas Phnom Penh. Si vous me forcez à dire que je connais Phnom Penh, to say that I knew Phnom Penh. What do you je viens expect de connaître me to Phnom Penh parce que ma fille I travaille dans une usine de textile. Si elle n'est pas venue travailler dans cette factory. usine, If je n'aurais peut-être pas connu Phnom Penh. Et je n'aurais pas l'occasion de visiter Phnom Penh ou no Takeo. Um, thank you, Madam Civil Party. My last question to you. Maître Koko, um, dernière question. Madame, Were your father and mother in 1975 former Lonol soldiers? Lonol? Uh, réponse. No. Answer? No. Ils étaient très pauvres. Ils ne pouvaient we uh, pas devenir uh, soldats. 
Il voilà, connaît ils étaient très pauvres, ils ne, ils ne travaillaient que la terre pour he nourrir leurs enfants. And he had to till the soil to feed our children. Thank you, Madame Sevo Party. Je vous remercie, Madame Je vous remercie, Madame Je vous remercie, L'avocat de Kyo Sampan, vous avez la parole. Council for Kyo Sampan, you have the floor. Monsieur le Président, nous n'avons pas de questions à poser Mr. à President, cette partie. We do not have any questions for this civil party. Madame Yemkoni, Mrs. Yemkoni, the Chamber the wishes to thank you ici. for coming to testify voilà, donc, uh, here. Votre déposition touche à sa fin. Vous pouvez Your testimony chez vous. has come to an end. You can go back home. Now, la chambre vous souhaite un bon voyage de retour et une audience en concentration avec l'unité d'appui aux témoins and à la partie the civile. Veuillez prendre les dispositions nécessaires pour que la partie civile puisse entrer chez vous, à chez elle. Section to ensure that the civil party Le returns home. De lever l'audience est venue. It is time for us to adjourn, and we will resume at 10.30 a.m. Thank you.